but when they uh, invited me to speak, they told me I had five minutes. And, uh, I brought my stopwatch, but I'm not going to start mine until I get into the gist of my talk here. <laughs> but I don't want any of you officials out there coaching me, you know, for a time by <laughs> uh, Rex, thank you so much. Uh, and the third time around, you did get it right, so uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I want to congratulate Lucy uh, again. A lot of the remarks that she made and, and Rex have made, are, you, you're going to hear again from me, but uh, I think it's outstanding that uh, we've got two people in the Hall of Fame that started a tennis career in Belton, South Carolina, a town of 4,300 people. So, uh, <laughs> tournament uh, that's the USTA intersectionals for years and uh, it's just one of the favorite things that I do I was telling Lester that night and uh, I've never seen Lester lose uh, it's hard to get into the court sometimes and a lot of times he don't like the court assignment that I gave him but uh, he just a heck of a player we sure appreciate what you do for some thank you uh, again I'd like to thank the selection committee for uh, Bestowing this outstanding honor on me, I tell you, just I might lose this. Nothing else could, could be nicer than to, to have this. I'd like to thank my friends from Belt. Uh, they're here tonight, and uh, they've given me an honor a couple of times, but I can't discuss that. So, uh, uh, but I've got my uh, friends and customers are, are also here, and I appreciate y'all making the effort. And one of my friends who's not involved with tennis happened to ask me, said. Uh, you know, what's the Southern Tennis Association? You know, and I told him, I said, it's people. It's good people. With different temperaments, talents, and convictions working together as volunteers to promote and manage a great game. It serves as a filter from the grassroots level to the national governing body. It's about friendships. It's about sharing ideas. It's about making the great sport better. When you get involved, it becomes part of you. Do a few of the things now, so it might be in chronological order that, that, that I've been involved with. Uh, I've officiated the last U.S. Open at uh, Forest Singles and the first Open at Flushing Meadows. I've been involved with the NCAA since 1978 and the last 12 years as a referee. Uh, many years ago, I convinced the ACC tournament to take its... Uh, conference championship both men's and women's and combine it and take it off campus we've been doing that for several years and i'm happy to say in 06 the men's and women's ncaa tournament will be a combined tournament at stanford and i'll be in charge of that uh, there's so many things that's happened on the courts and off the courts I, I, i've told francis so many times i wish i'd have written all this down because i think i could have written a book but one thing I'd, I'd like to bring out tonight, one of our Hall of Fame inductees is here. At that first ACC championship, uh, North Carolina was in the finals. And uh, their number one player was Woody Webb from North Carolina. I think we all remember what a great junior he was. And uh, Woody cut up. I mean, he said something, you know, that he shouldn't have. And my chair umpire had coded him, but I had already given him a code violation. So I started walking to the court. And Coach Morris, Allen Morris, was right behind me, and you know I didn't want to lose the tournament. You know I didn't, I, you know I, I just didn't want everything because it was my idea to do all this. But I turned to, turned to Coach Morris and said, "I got to give a game penalty to Woody." Coach Morris said, "Jim, that's okay. Woody's defaulted. He will not represent the University of North Carolina anymore in this tournament. Y'all have been refereeing now for 30 years. I've never had a coach do that before or after." And I just think that's a show of sportsmanship of what does go on in Southern tennis. And Alan, I certainly appreciate that. Uh, early on, as a district president, I came to Atlanta, and uh, there was a president from Mississippi and a president from Georgia. Uh, Sharon Galt was a president from Mississippi, and a skinny John Callum was uh, the president of Georgia. And uh, of course, my hair was a lot darker back then too. But uh, I, I remember uh, Georgia was number one in membership and we were number two, South Carolina, and I think Mississippi was two or three down the line. And back then, they took the grant and just divided it nine ways among the districts. 
And of course, John, being the, the, the Georgia Tech graduate, he decided right quick that Georgia would get a bigger piece of the pie if we cut it up by membership. And the three of us back then uh, spearheaded the efforts to uh, to, to get the uh, the grant distributed in a more equitable way. And uh, Sharon and John have just been friends of mine since that time, and we continue to be friends. And I appreciate everything that y'all done uh, for me and for Southern Tennis. Uh, as a volunteer, I've, I've been involved with so many things. The, the management committee, I was an endorser, been chairman of committees. Uh, I was a captain of the international team. In fact, uh, the Tony Traver Cup for two years uh, won the championship both years and undefeated. In the third year, I got fired. So uh, <laughs> that, that was one of those budget cuts, frankly. Right? So but, but I certainly did enjoy that. And I think, you know, for us folks that stick around long enough, we get some of these uh, great jobs. But to tell you, to show you how tennis changes and how the wind has changed sort of affects us all. When I was on the board and, and serving with those people that Lucy mentioned a while ago, uh, I was also in charge of a technical committee. And I brought up the Adopt-A-Court plan and, and presented it to the board. And at that time, the board did not want to uh, be uh, invest in bricks and mortar. I remember that right now. The gentleman that made that comment is not here, but that, that was sort of in the, in the uh, resolution did pass. And today it's just one of the big things happening in tennis right now. So I'm glad that initiative stayed on the board and I'm glad to see you know what we're doing right now. And on my management committee when I was president, Herman Anderson and Lucy, and uh, uh, they were members and, and, and you can see what good training they've got by you know where they are tonight. But uh, Two of my favorite people and, and, and two of my best friends were, were Peter Curry and Mickey McNaught. Uh, I brought Peter on, he, he was a CPA and I, he was our treasurer for several years there. And uh, Mickey was my hero, i tell you what. Uh, he enjoyed telling a joke and, and he enjoyed hearing one and he was one of those that you needed to, to sort of back you uh, on something when you wanted uh, you know, to have something passed. And uh, he, he just, he'd go to the claw for you. And uh, I appreciated that so much. But uh, of all my achievements, I, I think I'm, I'm most proud of the fact that uh, I kept the STA ship together through some very stormy weather. Barbara Brewer, Judy Miller, and Rex Maynard were all district presidents at the time, and I certainly needed and appreciated their support. I gained a special respect for Randy Stevens uh, because we kept meeting all the time all over the state. And from this experience, I learned two great lessons. Anybody can be a leader when things are going great. True leadership is not letting the boat sink, not hiding behind the door when things are bad, but taking a stand and not just taking credit when things are good. The second lesson I learned that nobody in the Southern Tennis Association had a passion for Southern Tennis like Randy Gregson. I thank you for that passion, Randy, and I think a little of it's rubbed off on me. I thank you for your friendship, and I thank you for what you've meant to me and to tennis. And when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's thank God every day that we are Americans and that we are part of the Southern Tennis Association. And now let me leave you with this. Heroes will help you find good in yourself. Your friends won't forsake you for somebody else. They both will stand by you through thick and through thin. Tennis is my hero and you are my friend. Thank y'all so much.